I'm Pat Campbell Jenner, I ride for Identity Bikes in Halo and we're here at Fort William World Cup, which is Fourcross and Downhill. I ride Fourcross specifically because uh, I find it more enjoyable. It's four men racing down a track at the same time, pretty elbow, elbows out, contact, it's good fun. This is my bike, an Identity Crisis. This year's colour, aluminium, solid, really stiff, awesome out of the gate, with halo wheels on a 4XR rim, which is our new rim for trail four cross use, nice and light, good acceleration with those. On that we've got Schwalbe tyres, generally I run Nobby Nicks as standard, but sometimes a bit smoother, go down to racing routes as well, really, really good tyres, really grippy. I run um, a Dura Race rear mech, tied in with a XTR shifter, which is really good combination because it's super light and with the short cage it's really stiff and it's carbon as well so it's really light. Um, moving on to my cranks, I've got the new MRP Lopes chain device, uh, put some titanium bolts in there to shave a bit more weight that's on something that's already really light. Um, with gusset Woodstock three-piece cranks which are new for this year, super light um, and really stiff as I made from Reynolds tubing. Not a lot of people who race four cross use them um, so they use like an aluminium Shimano crank or race face or whatever, but I find these a lot better. Um, just stiffness really laterally with a titanium axle. It's as light as an alloy crank and far, far stiffer. Um, on those, we've got some Crank Brothers Mallet 2 pedals. I use a, a bigger platform clip pedal because it gives you the support on the arch of your foot and the ball of your foot like a normal flat does, but you also get the benefits of a clip pedal. Moving up to the front, um, we've got Renthal bar and stem, super lightweight. Again, I'll fit tie bolts into them as well as my brake levers and the shifter just to save a bit more weight up the front. Um, with a Hope headset, which is super reliable. And the new White Brothers loop suspension fork, which is new for 2011. Really light, really stiff with a 15 mil axle. Uh, that's set at 100 mil, but it'll do 80 or 120. And um, you can get it in a tapered as well. And then we've got some custom ODI grips um, with custom collars and these are the Troy Lee ones I find really good out of the gate because they've got a nice square edge. And then uh, finally just running Hope brakes, uh, I find them the most reliable and really, really good brakes.